Oh yeah. They are, uh, we thought I thought we were gonna have them to open it and then Okay. Absolutely. Okay, does everybody have a candle? I don't. Here you go. Okay, we'll wait. Everyone's coming right here. Yeah. Okay. Haley, Abby, come on. Thank you. 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 I'm gonna leave you here. Right, no, it's okay. I understand. I do want you to have one now. Okay. Okay. We about ready? I think we are. Pastor Brad? Yes. Do you want to get up here? Yes. Stand up. It's just wonderful to see everybody here. I think for the family, it's just an encouragement and an affirmation that everybody cares. And uh, someone had asked me, we're lighting our candles now. Would we be make sure that every day we're praying for a safe return of Harley. So I'd like to just open up with a word of prayer. And then I think different folks are going to share just to encourage us. But you have been a great encouragement even as we uh, begin. So why don't you join me in a word of prayer. This is from Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrows of the that flies by day. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you on all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Lord, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you care. And we, we pray right now, Lord, as we gather together in unison as one for Harley. Lord, we just pray for his safety. We pray, Lord, the decision to be made to come home. And so we thank you, Lord. Together, we lift these prayers up to you. Grateful that you hear our prayers. Grateful that you are our strength in this time of need. Grateful that you know all things. And so we pray right now, Lord, for your mercy and that you would draw Harley back to his family. We thank you and we lift you up, Lord. We, we wait on you. We depend on you. And we're grateful that we can come to you now together as a community. It's in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll have Pastor Jackson now. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, as we look around, we see a full community here. Our friends, family, loved ones. Some that knew Harley, some that didn't. But what matters is we're here as a community. If anything else, we should remain a community. Amen. Not just in times of sorrow, but in times of joy. Amen. Not just in times of worry, but in times of happiness. As we light these candles, we hope that Harley sees us, that he hears us, that he knows that he has a safe place to return to. That he has people that care about him and love him. And above all else, that he has a heavenly father who has his best interest in need. Don't let this one day of prayer be the only day of prayer. But let it be a continual day of prayer. For now and forever. Because we have plenty of children that are struggling. That are dealing with depression. 
that are being bullied, but they need people around them that will lift them up, that will support them, that will give them a good, strong foundation to know that they have a future, that, to, that today is not the only day, but they have a long future. Not to be worried about the present, but to look forward to that future. I thank each and every one of you for coming today, and I pray that we keep our eyes open, not just for Harley, but for all those children that are still struggling, for all those children that are still walking around looking sad. Give them a hug, give them a meal, give them shelter and comfort. <coughs> Don't be so quick to judge and talk about people because they may look different or act different, but be accepting, be loving, be kind. That is what we're called to do. We learn from reading the Bible that we're to be Christ-like. And we know that Christ came to love. He came to heal. He came to restore. So we should, should too also have that same heart, that same aspect to pray, to love, to care, to show compassion for those that are in need. Because at one point in time, we are all in need. And there was always someone there who was looking out for us. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, as we come together, Lord, as friends and family, as people who may not even know what fully is going on, but, Lord, we know that you know all things, Lord. We know that you can make a way out of no way, Lord, and that where there's times that seem sorrowful, Lord, you can bring joy. So right now, Lord, as we join as a community, Lord, I pray that you hear our prayers, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you do reach Harley wherever he may be at, Lord, that you comfort him, Lord, that your spirit fills him, Lord that he shows his family, that his friends, his community, that he is safe, Lord. I pray for his safety, Lord. I pray for his future, Lord. I pray for all those children, all those boys and girls who may be struggling with the same kind of issues that Harley was dealing with, Lord. I pray, Lord, that they have someone that reaches out to them, Lord, someone that loves them, Lord, someone that comforts them, Lord. I pray, Lord, that your word is revealed to them, Lord. And right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray, Lord, that as we go out from here, Lord, I pray, Lord, that we continue to search, that we continue to pray, that we continue to seek you in all things, Lord. You sent your Holy Spirit, Lord, to lead us along our path of life, Lord, to instruct us, to guide us, Lord. And I pray right now that we are obedient to your Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray for all those who may not know you, Lord, that they come to know you, Lord. And for those that do know you, that we share your love and your light with all of the world. We thank you right now for this support, Lord, and I pray that it continues, Lord. I pray for our law enforcement, Lord, that you continue to lead them and guide them, Lord, that you continue to protect them, Lord, as they protect us, Lord. Right now they have a tough duty ahead of them, Lord, but we know that you can strengthen them, Lord, and lift them up, Lord. They have our support, Lord, and we know that they have your support. So we thank you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Pastor Kelly, did you? Pastor Calloway now? The most beautiful thing about a community is its potential to have one voice. The Bible says, my sheep know my voice, and of strangers they will not follow. This is a time for us to be that one voice that Harley knows, and let that one voice be heard. And as Pastor Jackson said, it cannot just be today. This has to be a mindset and a movement that takes us beyond this day. And when we go back to our homes and go back to our lives and go back to our jobs, our mindset must stay united to the goal that is before us. And that is to bring Harley home. Without questions, without speculation, without rumors and gossip. Amen. The bottom line is we want him home. And at the end of the day, that has to matter more than anything else. And that has to be something that takes us from this park to the rest of the week, to the rest of the incoming year. I believe this can happen. This turnout is indicative of the fact that we understand that as a community, this is a time to come together and a time to embrace this moment and then watch the results as they happen. I believe this can happen. I don't think any of us would be here if we didn't believe it was possible. So now let's take this momentum that we've started. Let's take this energy that we've galvanized today and move forward and continue to believe. And one last thing, 
Let's not let Facebook be the driving force of how we think, how we function, and how we operate. All of us have hearts and minds that have nothing to do with Facebook. Let us use that. Because right now, this isn't Facebook. This is Port Clinton, Ohio. That's right. This isn't the internet. This is Port Clinton, Ohio. So let's use this energy and watch the results. I believe Harley's coming home. Amen. I believe it's going to happen. We're going to support our law enforcement, our police department, as they do what's right and as they continue to do what's necessary. And not just for Harley. We have kids that are here today. I'm concerned about their protection. I'm concerned about their safety. Law enforcement has a tough job. So let's continue to support them and most importantly, support one another. Amen. We are Amen. one community. We are one group of people. And I believe this can happen. So my prayer today is for the inevitable result of what God has already done. We're just waiting for the manifestation of it. So I believe it's going to happen. Dear God, our Father, I thank you for this opportunity that we have to stand here as one voice. And now, God, we let that voice be heard. We let it reach Harley wherever he is. Let him know that this is a community that loves him, still believes in him, and most importantly, wants him home safely. And God, I pray that the momentum that we have started here today takes us beyond any circumstance, any rumor, any gossip, any disagreement, any dysfunction for the inevitable result of Harley coming home. We pray for our law enforcement. As it's been said, they have a tough job. But God, we support them, and you are intertwined in all of this. And for this, we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Pastor Calloway. Did you say Pastor Brian? Yes. Pastor Brian, we'll be speaking now. How are you? Hello. All I want to add, because you guys covered a lot, and I thank you pastors for sharing what you've shared, <clears throat> we all have questions. We all want to help. I mean, this is proof that everybody would do anything to see this young man come home safely. Mainly, we want to know where Harley is. We want to know if he's safe. But God the Father knows where he is right now. As we stand here, God the Father has the ability to comfort him and send peace into his heart, into his life. And when we pray, we don't want to just say words. I just, I just want to explain this God that we're talking to. He's the God that put this earth into existence. He's the God that spins this earth on its orbit. He defines the boundaries of oceans. He developed each and every one of us, our, our body, our innermost parts. When we say these words, we're not praying just to pray words into the air. We're praying to a God who is quite capable of doing anything that we ask. And... When you pray tonight and tomorrow and the next day and every day until Harley comes home, I'm going to ask you to activate that faith and remember who it is that you're speaking to. You're speaking to a God who can do all things. And that's the kind of faith. It's not about the words that we say. It's about the faith that activates the prayer. And so as we continue to pray, I'm just just asking you to remember that we're praying to a mighty, mighty God who can do all things. Amen. And so let's just activate our faith. And again, let's just have a word of prayer, knowing that God can, can bring him uh, into safety with his family. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, we just speak to you tonight, God, understanding your capabilities, understanding how good you are. You loved Harley so much that you sent your son, Jesus, to die on a cross, to take the punishment for his sins so that he could have eternal life with you. And Father, you've done that for each and every one of us here. And so we pray to you, God, the God of all creation, the God of the heavens and the earth. And we know that right now, you alone know exactly where he is. And we pray that you would fill his heart with peace, with love, with compassion, with joy, and any anxiety, any any bad thoughts that are going through his mind, Father, I pray that you would remove them and fill it with your peace and your joy so that you would be glorified. And I pray you would draw this young man into your kingdom like he's never felt before. And Father, I just pray that he would he would just go to a phone and he would call home and he would say, come get me. And he would he would just make him make himself uh, available and he would come home with, with welcome arms to a community that we see tonight that loves him. 
and what's the best for them, God. You alone can do that. So we direct our prayers not to Facebook or not to any other uh, any tips that we may have or, or, or any solutions that we think we have. We're directing them to you, God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And we're, we're counting on you, and we're trusting in you to deliver this young man into your peace and safety, Father God. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, do we have any other pastors that want to speak? What's your name? Deb. This is Pastor Deb. I just want to say to all of you tonight <coughs> that this is God's true heart right here. For us all to come together in one accord and our prayers and our hopes and our faith bind, come together as one, as, as the body of Christ, to seek God's face in our time of need. Um, I represent minister from Sandusky, so it's not just in your community. Harley has touched the hearts of many of us from all over. Our, our whole city has been praying for Harley and the safe return of Harley. And us coming together shows the true heart of God and what we were all meant to be, to come together and, and to unite and be together. Not to point fingers, but to be there for each other. And each child, for us adults to help these children, to cover them in prayer and, and give them hope and assurance. And, and I thank you all for being here tonight. I thank you that we can come in one accord and in one agreement to bring this child back home. I believe he's out there, and I believe the angels of God have encamped around him, and they're drawing him. So let's pray tonight in agreement that um, God will draw him back home, that his Holy Spirit will, the same Holy Spirit that draws us all together and draws us to God is the same Holy Spirit that is with Harley tonight, is wherever he's at. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time that we can come together. We thank you that we can come before your throne and ask anything according to your will. And your word says we can have it. We know that your heart is to reunite Harley with his family. Father, I, I pray right now that you'll be with this community, that your peace that surpasses understanding will flow over their mind, their wills, and their emotion, over the family, give them rest that peace that when they lay their head down, they know that God, Harley is in your hands and he is being protected and that you are guiding him back home. And we thank you for this opportunity to come in one accord and one agreement to search you, Lord, and to search your heart and to bring Harley back home to his family. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Anyone else? I just had the opportunity to talk to uh, local law enforcement, and I could just by, tell by talking with the officer, he is driven. They are driven to find Harley, and he assured me they, they're operating believing Harley is well, and Harley wants to come home. And so he also appealed to me to tell everyone to keep their lights on and to keep your eyes open and keep your ears open if you have something that would be a positive tip not to hesitate to call uh, Fort Clinton Police Department. So uh, I was affirmed by talking to the officer and be praying for them too, that oh, yes. the Holy Spirit would give them revelation. Right. They would be able to look into areas that we don't even think of right now right. as well as what we've been praying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate it. Just one post. This is it. You know, this is a beautiful community. We got each other's back, and we're going to bring Harley home. And I yes. thank you guys. We are so blessed, you know, and we want to make sure he comes home. We don't want this to be any of our children, you know. So thank you.
Harley was friends, or maybe even just acquaintance to many of us. And although we may not know where he is or if he's safe, we all hope and pray and we know in our hearts that God will bring him back home safely to all of us. I know that we all miss him dearly, and all we can say is that we hope the best out of this situation. We can all come together and maybe we will fix this, you know, because we're a small community um, in a small state, but as long as we all stay united come and come together, come then we can all yeah. work through this. Yeah. As long as we're there for each other, we will find him. We will bring him back home. Thank you. What was your name? Sarah. Sarah. Thank you. Does anybody else want to say anything? I think we're going to wrap it up. We can sing another song if you guys like. This little light of mine? This little light of mine? <laughs> this gentleman said sing, say the Lord's Prayer together. Oh, yeah. We'll do that. We'll, we'll wrap it up by doing that. How about that? Sound good? Sound good? All right. This little light of mine. I'm sorry, guys. We got one more person I'd like to say something. Let's get you up there. Got it. I'm Harley's grandfather. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out for our family. You don't know how it's carrying us up. This could happen to anybody's child. Like the Reverend said. Social media has done nothing but ruin a generation of children. It's tearing everybody apart, separating families, and ruining everybody's life. My grandson had issues, and he wasn't a perfect boy, but he was a good boy, and he loved his mother, and he loved his family. And nobody's perfect. Either. And uh, again, all I can say is it could happen to anybody. Thank you so very much for coming out and supporting us at this time because I don't know what we'd do without all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here we'll pray. God bless you. We'll find him. He's taking him home. We all do. We all do. Okay, would you guys like to that right. do the Lord's Prayer? Yes, please. Okay. Why don't you grab someone's hand? Can Everyone can join hands. Hand <laughs> Take a finger. <laughs> together to say the Lord's Prayer. Ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you guys again so much. Rachel, Dana, myself, some of you guys know her as Nikki. We didn't want attention. We didn't want, you know, any any anything more than support and pray. That's what we're here to do. And I think we had a wonderful outcome. And I say it for not just myself, but everyone standing here. Thank you all. It is greatly appreciated, and as you know, the family is here, and they're supporting us as much as we are them. So let's continue to do it, and like Pastor Jackson, Callaway, they all said, let's continue to pray, and make sure we keep our lights on, okay? Mm -hmm. Be kind. To each other. If you use any experience in life, use this, because I know it's changed me just a bit. I can't imagine, but I'm here. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Guys. Please make sure you guys any trash. Yes. Get, please clean up behind yourself. We, we, we got permission from the county and the city to do this, and we just want to make sure that we clean up too. 
Thank you. We are supposed to be out of here before dark, so I think we better get a move on. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't Sorry. Step on no, I you. Thank you. And thank you all for your donations with the candles. You're dressed warm. That's a good thing. I'm looking at the weather today myself. Yeah, you got to stay healthy. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Happy New Year. Yeah, just uh, keep, it, keep it out there. I'm Brooks. I'm with you. Pray for the family. It all just whatever you can. You know, flyers. Um, put, put flyers in your car when you're driving. Yeah. Whatever we you can. Know. You just go by Pastor Red Hall. Yeah. Tony Cowley. Tony Cowley. Yes, please go to the police station. They have flyers if you don't have any. You can't get it online and you can't get to. Of course, yes. I mean, if it's like. Everybody to come together like this as well. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming out here. Okay. It, it, it's Dana, Nikki, Nikki, come here. Yeah, you do. We're gonna um. Take your cheese. Want to go? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me, let me talk to happy holidays. Have a happy new year. Thanks for coming. Have a happy new year. Thank you. 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 Thank you